This is a technology that could completely revolutionize how we cool our homes, refrigerate our food and air condition our buildings without using a single drop of harmful chemicals or refrigerant gases. Imagine cooling powered entirely by magnets and water. That's more efficient, quieter and better for our planet. It's called magnetic cooling and it's about to change everything we know about refrigeration. Have you ever wondered what's inside your refrigerator that makes it cold? No, I'm not talking about last week's leftovers. I'm talking about the chemicals, those refrigerants that have been cooling our food and our homes for over a century. But what if I told you we might not need them anymore? What if magnets, yes, those same things holding your kids' artwork through the fridge, could actually be the cooling systems? Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, grab a cold drink while you still get it the old-fashioned way because we are about to dive into a magnetic revolution that's about to change everything we know about cooling. Welcome to Physics Space. I'm your host Devangshu, but you can call me Dev. Let's start with a question. When was the last time you thought about how your refrigerator works? Probably never, but here's the thing. That technology hasn't fundamentally changed in over 100 years. It relies on compressing and expanding gases that absorb heat when they expand and release it when compressed. Those refrigerants have evolved over time, but they have always had problems. Remember CFCs? They were destroying our ozone layer until we banned them. The replacement HFCs don't harm the ozone but are still potent greenhouse gases, up to 1000 times more powerful than CO2 at trapping heat in our atmosphere. And here's a shocking fact. If your air conditioner leak, and many do, those chemicals aren't just bad for the planet, they're harmful for you and your family too. But what if we could cool things without any gases at all? What if we could use solid materials instead? That's where magnetic cooling comes in. And it's not just theoretical, it's happening right now. So how does magnetic cooling actually work? Let me break it down in a way that won't make your head spin. Imagine you have a special metal. Let's call it a magnetocaloric material. When you put this metal near a magnetic field, something amazing happens. It heats up. When you take the magnetic field away, it cools down. This effect is called magnetocaloric effect. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait, if it heats up, how does it help with cooling? Great question. Here's where things get clever. Picture this. You have this special metal, you bring a magnet close to it and it heats up. While well, it's hot, you use water or water ethanol mix to carry that heat away. Then you remove the magnetic field and the metal gets colder than it was originally. Now you can use that super cooled metal to chill whatever you want. It's like a sponge that shocks up heat when magnetized and releases coldness when demagnetized. And the best part, no gases, no chemicals, no environmental damage, just metals, magnets and water. This isn't just laboratory science, real companies are turning this technology into products we'll be using soon in our homes and businesses. Take Magnotherm, a German company that's already developed a working prototype called Eclipse today. Their systems use metals like gadolinium and La Fe-C to achieve temperature differences of up to 25 degrees Celsius without any harmful refrigerants. Instead of traditional compressors, they use a clever arrangement of magnets and water ethanol mix to transfer heat. Or look at Magnoric, a French-German startup that has been operating since 2019. They have developed a system that's 19% more energy efficient than conventional cooling and 38% more sustainable. They've protected their innovations with seven international patent families and believe magnetic refrigeration will be the new standard for cooling and air conditioning. But it's not just European companies. Cambridge, a offspin from the University of Cambridge founded in 2005, has invested over 15 million pounds in developing their magnetic cooling systems. The technology is not only gas-free and energy efficient but also designed for circular recyclability. Meaning, the material can be reused at the end of the product's life. And the list goes on. UB Blue, Aqua Technologies, Hire Smart Home Company and many others are racing to bring this technology to the market. What's really exciting is that this isn't just private companies working in isolation. Governments and research institutions worldwide recognize the potential of magnetic cooling. The US Department of Energy's ARMS National Laboratory has developed a magnetocaloric heat pump that matches current vapor compressor systems in weight, cost and performance, the three key factors needed for commercial viability. 
Their research team, led by Julie Slaughter, has focused on making the technology more efficient and affordable. In Europe, agencies like Innovate UK and the European Union have provided millions in funding to companies like Cambridge. The Carbon Trust and Henry Royce Institute have also supported research in this field recognizing its potential to help meet climate goals. Why all this interest? Well, according to the International Energy Agency, we need to avoid 250 gigatons of CO2 emissions from refrigeration and cooling by 2050 to achieve our climate goals. That's a massive number, and magnetic cooling could be a key part of the solution. So, what does this mean for you and me? Let's get practical. Imagine a refrigerator that's quieter because it doesn't have a compressor, constantly cycling on and off. One that uses less electricity, saving you money on your utility bills. One that never leaks harmful gases into your kitchen or the atmosphere. And one that maintains more stable temperatures, keeping your food fresher for longer. Or think about air conditioning. In hot climates, AC can account for up to 70% of residential electricity use during summer months. What if we could reduce that by 19% or more? That's not just good for your wallet, it's a game changer for our power grids and the planet. And it goes beyond homes. Commercial refrigeration in supermarkets, industrial cooling in data centers, and even cooling systems in electric vehicles all could benefit from this technology. Now, I know what you're thinking. If this is so great, why don't I have a magnetic refrigerator in my kitchen already? Fair question. There are still challenges to overcome. The magnetocaloric material needs to be produced at a scale and at competitive cost. The systems need to be optimized for different applications and manufacturing needs to ramp up. But here's the exciting part. We are closer than you think. Companies like Magnotherm are already taking pre-orders for their first commercial units. Others are partnering with major appliance companies and manufacturers to integrate their technology into future products. The timeline? Most experts believe we'll see the first commercial magnetic refrigerators and cooling systems hitting the market within the next two to five years, with widespread adoption following in the decade after that. Let's zoom out for a moment and think about what this really means. Refrigeration technology hasn't fundamentally changed since the early 1900s. For over a century, we have been using essentially the same approach, just with different gases. Magnetic cooling represents the first true paradigm shift in how we cool things in generations. It's like when we moved from gas lamps to electric light bulbs, or from horse-drawn carriages to automobiles. It's not just an improvement, it's a completely different way of solving the problem. And the timing couldn't be better. With climate change accelerating and energy costs rising, we desperately need innovations that can reduce our environmental impacts while maintaining or improving our quality of life. So, there you have it. Magnetic cooling isn't just coming. It's already here in labs and prototypes around the world. It's poised to transform how we cool our food, our home, and our planet. The next time you hear your refrigerator kick on or feel the cool air coming from your AC, take a moment to appreciate that you're witnessing the end of an era. The gas compression technology that served us for over a century is about to be replaced by something far better, cleaner, and more efficient. And it all comes down to the humble magnets reimagined and repurposed to solve one of our biggest environmental challenges. So what do you think? Are you ready to welcome magnetic cooling into our homes? Would you pay a premium for a refrigerator that's better for the planet? Or will you wait until the technology becomes mainstream? What if is your answer? One thing is clear, the cool future of refrigeration is magnetic and the future is closer than you might think. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the fascinating world of magnetic cooling. If you enjoyed this exploration of cutting edge technology, hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments what other innovations you would like me to cover in the future videos. Stay cool, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.